Welcome to Hog Technologies' first edition of Mythbusters. Today I want to address a urban myth that I think has been promulgated by a variety of manufacturers and you know it has to do with um, melting and bringing thermoplastic up to the temperature at which it can lay lines. Okay so what I've done here is you know draw a comparison between the thermo drop material that has been produced by a few different manufacturers and I think there's more in progress just amazing to me that more research wouldn't be done to really 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 nail down whether or not the material actually comes up to temperature any faster now listen I actually believe that they're right about something and that something is that the thermo drop pelletized material will actually melt faster. And I think you'll see that here today. Here I have a very sensitive weight measuring device and I have distributed equal amounts of sugar. The weight of the sugar in each of these containers is exactly the same. I've also got over here two cups of water. The volume of water in each of these containers is exactly the same and you can see and what we're gonna do here in just a minute is we're gonna pour these two containers of sugar into these two cups of water. And what you're gonna see is that the granulated sugar actually melts a lot faster, 20%, maybe 30% faster. I mean, it melts almost instantly. So if you were to get up and look into a thermoplastic kettle, I think it's quite likely that the moment the thermo drop material goes in there, it's melted but you can't lay it just because it's melted. There's a big difference between melting material and bringing it up to a temperature at which it can go out on the street. And that's the myth that I want to dispel here today. In fact, I'm gonna make you a bet. All those you out there in, in striping land, I wanna throw down a bet that if you can prove to me that thermo drop material, this pelletized material, if it comes up to temperature any faster, uh, I agree it melts faster, but if it comes up to that 400 degrees or 200 degrees Celsius, wherever you lay your lines at, if it comes up any faster, I'll pay you $1,000 for every percent that it comes. So if it's 10% if it's faster, check for 10 grand, no problem. 15% faster, check for 15 grand, no problem. So does it melt faster? Yes. Will it come up to temperature any faster? No. I believe it's an urban myth promulgated by those who are trying to sell you something. So, you know, do your, do your research. No, listen, I've talked to contractors who have melted truckloads of both materials and conducted a thorough test. Unless you change the metrics by which you convert heat from fire into that thermo, whether you from heat to metal to thermo or whether like we're doing, do you know that we're using, sometimes people said, that, well, you're using oil jacketed melters. Those have been around for 30 years. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it true that the melter has an oil jacket around it? Yes, but we are absolutely not putting a fire under that oil jacket. That's the big difference. You put a fire under an oil jacket, what's gonna happen? Eventually, one of those welds is gonna break and there's fire right on the other side of that oil, it's gonna get in the fire and you're gonna have a fire. That is not how we do it. We, our fire is completely separated from the melter and we have a, a square footage from fire to oil hundreds of times more than a conventional melter. How do we do that? Because we have 121 square feet of tube and then we're moving that oil through so, so quickly that we're moving the heat out from the fire and into a common reservoir. And then from there, we radically change the metrics of oil to thermo through running that thermo through heat exchangers. It's absolutely amazing. Blow your mind when you see it in person. So here we go, we're, we're, we're gonna do this here. Um, so the granular represents the thermo drop material, the bag material, sometimes it clumps up, you know, you gotta stir it around, you gotta wait for a good bit. And you look in the top and there's bags pushing around and clumpy material and it just feels bad. Makes you feel better in your heart when it's all melted. But once again, you know, the, the, the melting is not the most important part. It's bringing it up to temperature, 199 degrees. Both of those are exactly 199 degrees. 
in with the, in with, and, and there we go. And now I'm gonna begin stirring. Notice the temperature dropping, temperature's dropping, temperature's dropping. Now look, uh, you know, over here we got 185 and dropping, 156 and dropping. And, and you notice that the temperature over here uh, dropped to 158 already. And it's kind of bottomed out, it's slowing down. Over here we're 168, but it's keeping going. Just uh, see it, 168, 159, 166. So here we go. We're gonna see kind of where things bottom out for us. All right, we're all melted over here. No more melting to do, um, 174. But look over here, we're 173 degrees, 173, 173, 174, it, it, it is exactly the same. And I mean, I don't think you wanna stay on here all that long with me, but if we, we know because we've done it. We've not only done it with water, we've done it with thermal, we, we know the answer. So listen, in the next week or two, I'm gonna do this again. And, and instead of doing it with cubed sugar and granular sugar, I'm gonna do it for you with plastic and I want to just submit until you change the efficiency with which you convert BTUs units of heat from fire into that plastic you'll fail to really bring that plastic up to line laying temperature any sooner you melt it you won't lay it so thank you for joining our first edition of Mythbusters, and I hope you come to a Hog Day Rodeo. Come and see the amazing Thermo Hog. We're melting Thermo two to three times as fast. We're doing it with one half the melters. Thermo Hog only has a one white and one yellow melter. Um, 1.8 million BTUs of fire on that amazing truck. So I hope you'll come see us soon in Stewart, Florida, or visit us on the dark web at thehog.com.